All right, well, go ahead, Ricky. Good morrow. Hey. Good morrow. Uh, yes, where's the link? It looks like Kadir filled out a bunch of stuff. He did fill out a bunch of stuff. Here, I'll, hold on, I'll give you the link. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we're working on, obviously, the IA, which is in good shape, um, and the redesign, which is in good shape. I don't know uh, how many of you have seen the, the new what we have so far. I know everybody that was in the KB meeting saw a uh, sort of a demo of, of what we have so far. Um, so the rest. So, yeah, do you have a link for that? I'd, I'd love to take a look at that. Well, it's in the, there's an email with a login, because you can't see it unless you have a certain account. So, okay. yeah, if you can, sh can you share that with everybody else, Bertie? Yeah. Because I, I only sent it to the people that were in the KB meeting. Okay. I'll send it to you, David. Yeah. I mean, yeah, send it to the team, whoever else is, is um, interested. Oh, right. That wasn't, so thank you, yeah. And, oh, yeah, so today we landed the survey gizmo thing for, uh, and it's not enabled yet, but whenever Eli gives me the, uh, the thumbs up, I will set it to 1% or whatever. I can't hear you. He's muted. But he's the, he is giving you thumbs up. Okay, so so I'll enable that for 1%? Yeah. Okay. So I will send you an email just to have it on right in. Okay. Case. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, oh, and I landed the uh, email for new contributors if they if they register with the checkbox that they want to become a contributor. We'll email them a special email from Rosanna and Malarina telling them what to do next. So hopefully that helps get people on board. Nice. Thank Great. you. And uh, yeah. So the other thing I wanted to say is uh, this new setup for this meeting is a is a pain for anybody if not in the previous meeting because it's not it doesn't start at a, at a fixed time so it would be helpful if we if I don't know I don't know what you can do <laughs> obviously all of you are already on the call so you just switch but right. anybody that's not on the call like me or community is just uh, like I don't know you're either sitting around or you're doing something and then you miss it yeah that was one of our things that we talked about concerns yeah yeah I mean it, it, it is still a concern and it's it's helpful to get that feedback Ricky um, if it could be like like if you cut the other one off at a fixed time always then it's probably a good thing too <laughs> it'd be easier like if it's one o'clock or something I don't know I'll let I'll let you decide what to do <laughs> that's it okay well feedback taken appreciate it Okay, uh, since you're on a short uh, schedule, I, we should probably just let you go. Does anyone have any questions for Ricky? Um, Going once. Sorry. Was that, a, a, I thought you were going to say something, Michael. So yeah, I, guess, I was thinking uh, about it, but I don't have a question. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Okay, so, <laughs> the best type of question. Um, Ricky, you're free to go. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, you're Thanks. welcome to stay for as long as you can. I have five more minutes. I'll let's in for a while. <laughs> awesome. All right. Let's uh, keep going. So, so previous action items are these all? None of these are completed, complete, I assume, because I don't see any anyone's dragged out. So it looks like the ones from Kadir, he added the answers to those. So it looks like they are complete. That's true. I should have read past the, the initial line. Well, this is a question for Ricky. Did they, what's the deal? Was someone, was that our security team or was that someone we don't know about trying to like vote on questions for a zillion times? Uh, you're, you're Can muted. you rephrase? So Kadir was uh, researching it. Uh, who was looking into what it was, but I don't know. I, I wasn't looking into okay. it. Yeah. So let's go through the list. Was that that was the first item? Mm -hmm. Was that? So the next item is Kadir to. So the next steps are really are already covered in the first item. So that's good. That will carry over to the next 
uh, next week, unless it's done before that. Uh, Kadir to reach out to security team to ensure this was not done on purpose. So that's the same, right? Sorry, I'm a little bit at loss because I didn't, I wasn't part of this previous meeting. So it's make those first three all are related to that particular. Yeah. Version. Okay. It sounds like we, yeah, so that, it wasn't clear whether it was the security team or not. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to suggest that it wasn't, but it doesn't seem to suggest it was because we haven't heard back. Okay. So the next step is to reach out to stakeholders. Is that does that capture it? Okay. I'm looking right. at that etherpad. I've never seen that etherpad before, so I'm looking at it right now. Well, since Kadir isn't here, uh, let's let's assume that that is the next step, and uh, follow up from there once he's back. That would be my suggestion. Everyone, take a look at that etherpad. In the meantime, let's move on. So, the next item is all for everyone to review the support form designs from Brahm. Is Brahm is probably not making these meetings anymore because of his time zone. Uh, did anyone not look at that? Look at those um, designs? Except me, of course, who wasn't even aware of this thing. I mean, I looked at them. I would still love to spend more time looking at them. It's, there's a lot of freaking information. So. Well, did anyone see anything that would, you know, raise any red flags or does it look good? Can, can Brown continue? I don't know what type of feedback he wants, and I don't. I, I lack a link to to those designs, so I can't. Like, if I'm supposed to to take a look at that, ASAP. I need I need some help from from any one of you. Can... If anyone can add a link to that, that would be great. Okay, so I assume everyone else looked at the feedback and provided feedback. Uh, looked at the design and provided feedback. So that's good. Yes. Uh, Next one is Kadir to start the discussion of what our long-term goals are with the forum, how our current forum is positioned to reach them. Uh, there's a brainstorming etherpad, and we're meeting um, tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Next one is um, Madalena to send out emails with details around community survey. Um, Follow-up meeting to address the items in this survey. The status there, Madalena? Yeah, I wrote it there. I said I'm still working on the data because there's a lot of data involved there. Uh, I gave in an ETA of Tuesday to so that's tomorrow. So that should be tomorrow. Okay. Uh, next one is Kadir, E by Michael and Cheng to dig up the, uh, any discussions about the support form that you had in the past and paste it in the etherpad. Is that related to the above? This is hard for me to follow. I, I can tell you that if as an outsider, this time around, it's this action line is so hard to to comprehend. <laughs> yeah, this was uh, we were trying to find the information, the conversation that we got in Toronto back in December. Uh, I checked, and there was nothing on my email or my notes. Yeah, I couldn't like I, I did a really quick look through. Um, I did the same, just check my email, and I didn't see anything. I don't. I thought we had this discussion, but I don't actually recall. I know we had when this we discussion, had and so I pasted a tiny something that I found. I don't know what an email or something, but it was the gist of it was we had talked about, and I can't find the list of things that we said. How can we make the forum the same conversation we've been having? How can we make the forum more like live chat? Incorporate some of the features that people really liked about live chat into the forum to make it more fun. We had this. Oh, that's the discussion. That discussion okay. that we're having yeah. now, we also had back in December. Well, I do remember that during the work week we did talk about it. I don't think that we had yeah. a, a structured meeting where we recorded right. any notes. No. So I, I think that you won't be able to find anything. Right. If my memory serves me well. And I don't think that we had any takeaways either. Like we were sort of loosely just brainstorming some ideas. Like I remember yes. one thing being like if you go into a forum thread. You could you would have some sort of like a green circle that would indicate if the original poster is online. Like maybe in the right. avatar area for for the original poster, you would see if that person is there, and then you can engage in a in a direct conversation. Um, that's pretty much what I remember. Um, you asked that you know the one idea that 
was a solid idea. I don't know if um, you know, there were anything so. So I, I, I'm assuming that this was in preparation for that discussion that is happening tomorrow, that you guys wanted to be prepared for that. So there is an ether password now, and uh, we'll have that meeting tomorrow, as I said. Okay, so last one, um, action item for last week was for everyone to review the Firefox OS pages for, uh, by Michelle, feedback, welcome. Anyone didn't do that? And also, can we link to those things right. to make it I didn't, easier? I didn't do it. I'll, I'll admit that I haven't done it, but that's partly because I didn't even... It just went over my head. I didn't have my name attached, and I didn't realize that it was a specifically everyone had to do thing. Okay. Uh, Michelle, could you resend that request to make sure that everyone completes that? Or I guess it's just Chang and me who needs to go through that. If Michelle is there. Resend it? Resend the request? Well, I just I think it was just in the meeting notes, so I can put it in the meeting notes for this week, too. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what format uh, this thing was. So, right, like, was it? Were you uh, were you looking at looking asking us to review articles? Because I wasn't. That was. Is about the no. scope of the documentation. Like, what questions are? I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of questions that? are being answered or something? So it's really just a set of landing pages that says like, here's all the things we think we need to cover for Basecamp. All the things we want to document. Uh, as a first pass, and they're linked from, um, well, they're yeah. all, um, on, they're on production in the admin category. Okay. You just um, want to so review the structure, is what Michelle was asking, make sure the structure is correct. Yeah, I'm trying to fit, you know, the questions for, um, for this product into the model that we defined this year, which is a little bit of a not perfect fit, to be sure, um, where Marketplace goes and downloads and installs. So questions land there, bless you. And, um, <coughs> and then the other four categories generally, um, they generally fit, um, except that with the phone, you know, crashing messages and stuff, we might recast that, make it a little less, I mean, eliminate crashing, I think, um, as a, the title. Um, but just to go in there and take a look and see what, um, what we're planning so they're aware of it. Oh, Help. okay. All right. Sorry. No, I, I would thought that we, it was like a review as in like review and improve articles. And I was trying to figure out exactly what you wanted me to do. Um, but yeah, no, that's fine. I can take a quick look just to make sure I'm familiar with it, but I don't think there's... I mean, <coughs> Apple and eBuy have um, looked at it. Yeah. I know that <clears throat> Rolex looked at it and is, um, yeah. you know, I added some stuff for email Thank you. Um, for you, Roland, and UX came back with that same feedback. The Gaia team has reviewed it, so so we're in good shape, Ching. If, I mean, if you don't have the cycles, it's fine. Yeah, no, I mean, I just did a quick look at the links. Yeah, and it looks fine. I mean, I just quickly scanned through what they, what it was just, they are just lists of topics that you want to cover, it seems yep. like, right? That's yeah. it. Okay, cool. So, so, and the links that I provided in now, I copied over in the Etherpad, is that the correct one? Yep. Mm -hmm. I, think I don't know, where'd you put them? In the meeting, I don't know. What in is the action it? items? Nope. Oh, yes, uh, that's oh, well. right. Yeah, for That's previous correct. week, yeah. Yep. Okay. There I'll take a look at this. I only recorded four from the, from the notes. There were, so this was from the Firefox OS section. That's all I could find. Okay. Hey, Michelle. But you can go back and look at if there's something is missing. Michael? Yep. I was just going to say, I don't know the answer to this, um, and I... Uh, and now neither Ricky or Kadir is here to clarify it, but something that I can follow up with them is uh, I think part of that support more than one product thing uh, is the back end to allow different topics for different products. So yep. where things don't necessarily quite fit today, 
like how you'd want to organize them. Uh, that may be fixed. I think that's on the list to to change before the launch. So I guess what I'm saying is you might think about how you would organize them however you want. And then, uh, because I think we can, we can organize them that way, but not today, just like later in the fourth quarter. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's we'll the plan. Okay. All right. So, so, um, the action item for next week is for, or for this week, for, is for, for me and Cheng to take another look at those articles um, and provide any feedback that we have to Michelle. Everyone else has already done it, so we're good to, you should be, you know, assume that we're pretty good to go anyway, Michelle, but, but for the sake of it, I will definitely take a look at it. Okay, thanks. Uh, and, and in retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have led this meeting because this ended up taking a lot of time because I was I didn't have the context, so that maybe that's a lesson learned too. Uh, if it's possible to clarify the action items, um, consider doing that up front. Even though it takes a little bit longer to write it, it's far easier to read it through uh, and mark them as done the following week. So, Anyway, so Super Development Update, we've already covered. UX, we don't have a UX person here, uh, but we have a lot of updates here. Who wrote this, by the way? This is written by Brom? Okay. Brom, I think. Okay. So, so yeah, everyone take a look at this. It uh, looks mostly like a heads up. I don't see any questions or... Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I do see a question. Yeah, yeah. I had a question about the, um, the Get Involved pages. So, um, there was a back and forth on the bug between Rosanna and Brom and John Slater and the mock-ups that Brom made look really nice um, but it's like uh, there are things like a picture and a paragraph and a paragraph and a picture and things like that and I'm just wondering and I don't think we can have the answer right now is how do we write those pages like um, are they going to just be HTML and um, uh, you know it takes a code push to change them are they like each section is a wiki that gets pulled into the page, I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't clear from the mock-ups at least how that might work. Uh, I, Michael, I should just uh, say you're, it in you're... the bug, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. I would put that Please in the bug, to be honest. Uh, yeah. um, to be honest, since uh, we were looking for a different solution and then we changed the template and, and everything uh, before I was building them just with the with our wiki, right. uh, with a little bit of HTML because we, we, we're capable of displaying it. Um, so I think, I assume that we're going to do that with HTML that I can tell you for sure. So I think that I should, I can clarify that with Ricky. If you could just add that to the bug, yep. I can do that. What about? Okay. Um, I also see, Michelle, you answered some of the questions. Did I want to talk about that? Well, I want to talk to Brahma about it. <laughs> about <Okay. laughs> which questions? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, at just about the app for Firefox OS, oh. appifying the Sumo so that um, we could have something that's installable to the home screen from uh, the marketplace or installed uh, by default on the home screen, maybe for version two or something. Um, I think Ricky agrees it would be great um, to have this and um, so we just need to scope it out and see what Brom thinks if he agrees or if um, you know he'd rather go a different direction okay um, then any any questions any other comments about UX all right let's um, Move on over to roundtable. I don't see any topics here. Does anyone have any topics? Topics? No. Okay. Let's move on then. Firefox desktop update. All right. So uh, tomorrow, Flash 11.4 is being released into the wild. Um, <laughs> Adobe is claiming that it is it fixes a lot of things from 11.3. So we're very very hopeful that that's true. Um, at this point, we can't back up those claims, though, internally, so um, we're, 
we're, we're going to be updating our documentation later. Um, we're going to have a, a meeting later today to discuss how we should approach this and, and you know, what, what our official uh, stance is going to be. But we are hoping that 11.4 is going to be a significant improvement over 11.3. So fingers crossed. Um, everybody just keep sending out good thoughts and uh, hope for the best. Yeah. Wait, who's okay. having a meeting about this, Matt? Uh, we're going to discuss it in the advocacy meeting later today to decide, um, you know, what exactly what our stance is going to be. And so, Michael, you might want to uh, come to that meeting then so because it may have an impact on the content. So I'll send you the invite for that as okay, well. Okay, cool. All right. Any other topics? Okay. Um, metrics. KPI dashboard. Everybody get it loaded. What's my standing question is what's the status of the search click-through rate? When I don't know. Um, so I can give you a heads up on the search click-through rate. I essentially haven't been working on it because I've got too many other things going on. So Kadir said he'd take it over back at our work week. Um, and so my update is I've been working with metrics to get Kadir access. And so he should have access at this point. Um, but I don't know what his status and how he's planning his project and whatever is going on there. So I'm going to add that as an action item for Kadir to mm -hmm. update uh, the team of, on the status of the search click-through rate. Right? Because yep. we, we need to get that thing fixed now. It's been months since we that thing stopped working. Okay, um, I obviously can't do two things at the same time. <clears throat> Part of my dashboard isn't fully loading, so does anyone who with a properly loaded uh, dashboard have anything that you think we should talk about? Um. Uh, yeah, I just noticed that our visits, like something's up. It takes a total, like Saturday, goes down to 275,000, like lower than it's ever been. And then Sunday goes to something else ridiculously low, 21,000. Oh, I thought that, did, that was just the artifact of the way that these graphs were built up. No, it's, for, yeah, it's I think that's not the case. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just thought that it was just one day, and that's it's always kind of going down at the very end of the graph no, that, because that's the way that the that's, things are built. But I see now, yeah. yeah, it's two days. It's the solve rate that does that because we have seventy-two hours right. to answer. This is just visits per day. Let me. I'm gonna just go and check web trends and see if it's actually real. Right, you start with the the source data and see if it actually yeah. happens on the source data. Yeah, I mean this this is totally bananas if that's true because it's i mean it's going from half a million to 20k hmm. well actually no never mind that's that's for the one day that so it's it's reduced to half no 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 half. it goes yeah. down to twenty one thousand on sunday Sun but that might not oh, be shit, real yeah. because that might be a half of a sunday does that make sense uh even if it was half that's way off and it it never does that this graph though i'm just saying okay i've never seen that on yeah screen. something's wrong, wrong. All right, I'm I'm looking it up on Web Trends to see if it has the same because the data originally comes from Web Trends, right? So even the two hundred and seventy-five thousand on Saturday would still be the like lowest amount that is tracked on this graph. Okay, yeah. so Cheng is going to look into that and report back. Well, I mean, I, I'm reporting back right now and saying that Michael's correct. It is real data in the sense that Sunday is down significantly compared to. And both Sunday yeah, and Saturday so are was down. Was our website down? Um, I don't know. Uh, that's a question for Ricky. Uh, the other option mm -hmm. is possibly Web Trends, like one of our Web Trends cookies got removed in a push, mm. or one of our Web Trends, you know, JS scripts got removed. Can we file a bug for this to get it on to get it tracked? Michael. Uh, file a bug. I don't even know where um, to, or what to file a bug about. Just file an IT ticket, I guess. And copy Ricky. Maybe he has some feedback. 
Or, or how about this? Ping with me, see if he knows. Or then better than me, file the bug. I just don't. I'll, I'll file the bug. It's, it's, okay. I, I'm just meaning file an IT ticket. Just yeah. to get it, it looks like it's recovering like, today, though. So, so just an FYI, it looks like today is on track to be a normal day. But I, yeah, I still like, want to know what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and file the bug. All right. Ricky says he saw the data, but he doesn't think our website went down. Or at least our website didn't go down for not just. Uh, let's... Wasn't on. there a web trans push? I think there was this weekend. I got an email about that. What was that? Wasn't there? I'm pretty sure there was, so that could be related. What was there was? A web trans push? There was a, a web trends update, I think, this weekend. I got an email about that. I don't know if anyone else did, so it could be related to that. Okay. I can note myself. Um, all right. Any anything else around the KPI dashboard that we should talk about in this meeting? All right. Um, let's move on. So, so the rest of this etherpad is basically updates from people. So I want to remind everyone to focus on the stuff that you need help with, uh, the stuff that needs to be called out. If it's just an update, just refer to the wiki. Um, I think that's the only way to keep this meeting effective and allow us to focus on the stuff that we really need to discuss and decide. Um, so with that said, first is community, which looks empty. So I guess it should be ended. So l is the first one. Um, just a very brief update. Um, I'm looking at the, the whole etherpads that I have and I'll be clustering the information this week. So um, last call, if you have any uh, feedback for all the localizers, um, this is the very last week where I <laughs> would be able to listen to your feedback. So that's it. And where do you want that feedback? Like what, what form? Uh, on the, well, it's on the project page of the LTN uh, updates. We're actually clustering the data, so uh, it's, it's closed. I'm just saying that if someone has um, something very urgent, that uh, this is the last week. Uh, next week, it won't, it won't be possible to put more, uh, to give us some more feedback. OK. Could you provide a link to that, though, so, so people have a chance to do that? That would be helpful. Yeah, I mean, like it's everywhere in the in the forums and in the blog, but I can provide a, another link. I just want to make sure that the people who read this after the meeting know what to do. Like they, oh shit, I need to do that, and then where's the link? So it's just making sure that we collect all that information related to that action item. All right, uh, knowledge base. Anything to report, Michael? Nope. The big thing was what to do about the flash thing, which we'll hopefully figure out today. Mobile. Michelle. Uh, nothing new. Just uh, still need to do the version 15 updates as listed there. Thanks to those contributors who are helping. I really appreciate you jumping in, giving feedback on the art articles, and uh, making updates. Yay. Thank you. Um, marketplace services is empty. Um, support forum. Yeah, just a quick update on the SUMO day, which we had last Thursday. We had 91% of the questions answered. So I want to thank everybody who participated. You did a great job. I know it's August and there are holidays. Um, so thanks, and we'll continue doing this. Hopefully, we'll get back to the 100% that we answer, once have. We will. We shall. <laughs> All right. Great job. Uh, uh, Thunderbird. Um, our technical writer is out unexpectedly, so I have to write an article. If anybody out there wants to help me write an article about new features on number 15, please email me. Thank you. Firefox OS. Uh, so just what's in the wiki, as we talked about before, doc scoping is pretty much, um, I mean, it's well underway, and we've incorporated feedback from the Gaia team. Um, the one thing here is level two support still being worked out. We're looking at the model they use for Android. Um, I mean, that's what we can sort of assume right now we want to go for. So that's what we're researching. 
to see how much of that we could model. Um, thanks to Rosanna for setting up discussion forums for us to start doing community building around Firefox OS support. Awesome. Thanks for your help with that. Um, engineering, on the engineering side, they're tr doing triage daily. It's changing a lot every day. Um, they're sizing up their blockers on their way to try to get to a code freeze. And uh, the greatest thing everyone could do is to try to get the emulator set up on your platform. And we'll do an install fest of emulators at MozCamp. That's our plan for now. So there's a link there to the instructions uh, to get the emulator set up. It's really cool. We can see the new designs for the marketplace showing up there. And um, so if you want to look at it, that's the way to do it on your desktop. Yep, works great. So oh, you're set up, Roland? Uh, no, but I believe that since it's so easy for you guys, it'll be easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to interpret that. But um, <laughs> sorry, no, that was. I just think that was so awesome. No, other people have set it up here, so I, I'm I'm pretty confident. Maybe I'm overconfident. Sorry. <laughs> Get it set up. I want to have it set up. Does anyone else have it set up? The emulator. No. So these are instructions for Linux, though. Um, or am I looking at the wrong link? There's Mac and uh, no Windows. They're all platforms. Well, Windows and untested. Should work on Windows. Oh, I just assumed it was Linux because of the, the terminal instructions. But OK, I see. Win Windows builds are available, but I don't have a Windows machine to test. Um, bu bu bu. So that might be a tough one for me. I guess I'm one of the few who's running Windows. Uh, Yes, yeah. we'll put this to the test. Yeah, I was going to try it on both. We'll see which one is easier, Mac and Windows. Yeah, I have a gut feeling. <laughs> uh, Ebay, I think you are trying to say something, but uh, you're muted. <laughs> the, yeah, Linux seems to be forward. Uh, Mac seems so too, but I'm having difficulty. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think without Windows instructions, I'm, it's going to take a lot of time for me to, to try to get this to work. So I might pass out on this one, to be honest. No, no passing. Get a VM with Linux. Did you say you're passing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd prefer to wait until someone from the, the engineering team has some instructions for how to actually do it. Because uh, I don't even know what the pre the like the requirements for running this thing on my platform, because it doesn't say. I can give it a go though. I can try to follow these instructions. If I get stuck, then I'll see. I'll report back. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so the recorded action items that I have is Kadir will update the team on the status of the KPI for the search click through rate and also identify the steps we need to take in order to get it to actually work. Um, that's, you know, the end goal. The, the other one is that I'm going to file a ticket for this KPI, the visit KPI that we talked about, and to try to understand what, what, what actually happened during that dip. Uh, did I miss something, though? I feel like there might be another one. Now, that was probably just Rosanna's last um, call out to, to provide feedback for the help and that stuff. So you provided a link. That's not really an action item. Uh, it's just a heads up. So I think that's it. Any any last minute stuff that we need to talk about? All right. So that was a fairly quick meeting. Good. <laughs> Have a great week and uh, see you all online. Bye. Ciao.